The room which we are now in was Frederick Chopin's last residence in Warsaw. It was in this drawing room that he composed his piano concertos and his variations on La Ci Darum La Mano, the aria from Mozart's opera Don Giovanni. It was also here that the first private performance of his first piano concerto in E minor took place in a chamber music version for forte piano and string quartet. Chopin lived here at this residence until he left Poland forever on November 2nd, 1830. We are here in the Baroque Church of the Holy Cross, located less than 100 yards from Chopin's last residence in Warsaw. It was here that the Polish Constitution of 1792 was proclaimed. It is also the resting place for some of Poland's famous statesmen, a Nobel Prize laureate, and the heart of its famous composer, Frédéric Chopin. Before Chopin's death in Paris in 1849, the composer requested that his heart be removed and be sent for burial in Warsaw. Appropriately, the inscription at the top of this plaque begins with a quotation from St. Matthew's Gospel. Where your treasure is, there is also your heart. You never had an outfit like this in my life. Well, it's certainly a part fitting. It certainly is. <laughs> now this is the skirt that goes over. I met Lee Knoshta Bevington through a mutual friend. From the first meeting, he had terrific ideas for what I would look good in and feel good in on stage. I think we'll get an idea. Yeah, you get an idea of your legs underneath. I, I just feel that you can do it. In fact, his first idea was the cat suit. He comes up with ideas spontaneously and the next thing you know, you've got this wonderful creation in almost no time. So we have a few little problems here. We want to get this really off the shoulder as this, much as you're comfortable with. This will be the first time ever having anything off the shoulder. He has a terrific eye and a very good sense of the person and their sensibilities. For me personally, a whole new dimension has been added to my playing and uh, to my whole approach to giving concerts because I, I finally feel uh, as though I'm uh, wearing clothes that are really me. Mm -hmm. I like this good. Yeah, it's a very soft, beautiful material. The outfit that I'm wearing this evening um, to start the concert at Ford Center. This dress is so soft and I feel that he's conceived of these beautiful clothes that have a very soft look, a very romantic look. You need to feel as though you're not encumbered in any way by your clothes when you're performing, and um, it's almost as though it's uh, almost like wearing nothing. This evening, my trio has been invited to perform at the prestigious Ford Centre for the Performing Arts in Toronto, Canada. There are several levels of excitement in learning a piece of music. First, it's learning the notes and, and becoming really familiar with the shape of the piece and, and what the composer had in mind and, and, and then what you think the composer had in mind. Is that too loud? Once you are really free with yourself, with all technical obstacles and, and it's, that is no problem. It's then when your own artistry comes into play and when you have the chance to really express yourself. Cellist Jack Mendelssohn, a longtime musical friend, always brings his spontaneous sense of humor to rehearsals and performances. Mark Skazanetsky, who plays the violin, has an exuberance and charm about him and he loves working with other musicians.
right before a concert, I always become very introspective, and there is a tremendous feeling of anticipation. But when the moment arrives to go on stage, I try to relax and have a good time. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure. Can you see these flowers? They're bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs>